All right, so <clears throat> we just got our Picabo or Picabo uh, window screen covers, which are basically this um, sheet metal with um, a really fine no CM screen in there. Uh, and uh, we're going to install them on all three of the windows of the CR Lawrence windows that we have and uh, that open. And um, the reason for that is um, a couple of reasons. Uh, they're good security uh, because you can leave your window open and people can't just reach in and unlock the door, which probably isn't too big of a deal for us because we have the vehicle alarm that will, uh, the siren will go off if that happens. Uh, but the improved screens are, are pretty nice. And also where we sit on the bench when we lean against the window, instead of leaning against the, the very fragile screens that uh, came with the window, uh, it'll be against this, which will be um, much more durable. So hopefully this will go nice and easy. All right, so uh, taking a look at this here. It does look like the screen just pops off. Yeah, it sure does. It's got a little, whoops. So there's the screen. And uh, that was pretty easy. And this is going to go right here, basically. So let's cut this thing open, get parts out. Looks pretty good. It's a nice screen. Like this one must be for the other side. Oh, there's Ziggy. Hey, buddy. He's a bit of a spaz. Yep, you're a spaz. Calm down, dude. Okay, so. Oh, well, that's going on. Everybody's walking their dog. Okay, keep your cool, dude. Keep your cool. See this right here? This is why. We're putting on the window so that he won't destroy this. And taking care to not mess up the, the screen, which is, looks pretty good, but I'm sure it's very fragile. We saw the video before and they were saying how we need to remove all these screws so that we can put in our own screws. And that makes sense. Just doing a quick dry fit. Yep, looks perfect. So, we just start removing these. Oh, got the wrong tool. This for my screws. Proper drill. It's a very short one. That's interesting. I don't see any reason why that matters. There's a little spring here. I think it keeps this in place, but when we put our new screw in there, uh, I think it'll go in the same exact spot. So, yeah, that should work. So if there is an actual purpose to that one, I think it'll continue to work just fine. So these screws are, they're not going to be too deep or anything crazy. I always wonder if they're going to poke through, you know. Anyway, so, okay, two left. All right, I was wondering if this would happen. Uh, can you see this? Yeah. So that's going to require me to pay attention when I screw in this this bottom one. And that also explains why the manufacturer probably did this one second. He did this one first, this one second, that third, and then worked his way around. All right, so I have a screw ready, another panel ready. I 
wish that hole were just a little bit lower. Doesn't quite line up with the existing one. Um, hmm. Interesting. The most important thing is um, the line being smooth here. And it looks like I have just enough bite for that. So I am going to... Uh, this is important to get just right. So I'm going to go get a, a small drill bit and drill a pilot hole for this screw. Alright, so I have a 1 16th inch bit. Going to carefully position this so that it's exactly in the center of where I need it to be. Um, again, mainly I'm concerned about this this top line and this edge, and that needs to be exactly right, or else I'm not going to be happy. It'd be nice if there was some way to clamp this down, but I don't. I don't think there is, so I'm just going to apply some pressure here and do my best to make sure it stays in place. Now, I think that'll, that won't stay there. Now I need to switch back over to the driver bit and put in the screw and that will hopefully keep it all lined up exactly where we need it it's a little tough to get this started hopefully i won't drop anything along the way Like that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Jody just had a great idea for masking tape to keep it flush. I think that's a really good idea. So we're just going to do that. And then on this curve, if you could put a couple tabs. Sure. So it's kind of, it's, Is it lined sure. up? No, it actually isn't. Yeah. Okay. So I need to uh, start, start over. over. <laughs> yeah. And there's dirt on here, so it's That's not going to okay. stick twice, probably. That's fine. I think we can try. Okay. So I've got my hole lined up right there. Is that hopefully yeah. accurate? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, the tape was a great idea. I wish I would have thrown it out. Okay, let's, let's start with that, and now that you've solved that problem for me, I probably can do the rest myself. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, so you're, is it still lined up over there? Yeah, I think so. There's Maybe a, a little sharp up. edge on here. We need, actually, let's stop. Okay, what's up? So there's a, a metal barb right there. Do we want to do something about them? Oh, are we going to snag ourselves on it or the shades? Let me see. Yeah. Um, I we guess. could probably just lightly file it and then take a tiny bit of uh, Rust-Oleum and dab does, it. Does, do we need to take it down to do that? Yeah. Okay. All Let's right. Let's just do that. Go. All right. So straighten that out with a little tap on the hammer. And, um, okay, looks like that's my alignment point. Does that work for you? Um, I'm just a little bit on this end. Yeah, right there. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think the contour is pretty good. Okay. 
then you have to drill each one of them. Yeah, I need to do these down here. So this one here, if you look straight into it, you can see a little daylight to the right. So to the right? Yeah, do you see right here? I do. Does that mean it wasn't quite, it needed to come over a little bit more? Well, you were talking about the hole? Yeah. No, the, um, I don't think so. So you're just... I mean, we, we could wedge it just a tiny bit if we want to. Let's see what we can do. Why don't we scoot it over just a little bit? Now, this one is the weird one because it kind of pops up a little bit. So, um, if you could take your hand and just like lift up there, see him? Sure. Okay. Why is there such a big gap behind here? I don't know. It doesn't feel right. There? Did you get all of the screw heads out? I did. Yeah, this is not... It's not acting right. Maybe that's why they have two screws there. It's because it bows. This is not flush. Let me see. Let me feel. Oh, I think... Yeah, I think we... I think it's overlapping. I think... That's where out. two edges meet. That's right. And one edge is inside the other. Yep. You just loosen it a little bit. Help? I think so. Um, mm -hmm. It helped. It didn't solve it completely. Yeah, I think I need to uh, loosen it a little bit more. There we go. You know what? I'm going to screw this other one down. Sure. Wait, it still doesn't feel right. Oh, it doesn't? No, like there's a ridge underneath. That's, that's true. They, that? that, that's how it, it was. Over here, it's flush. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, maybe. Uh, I think this top one might have gone down. I see the edge there. I don't know. I mean, that's not a, not a I bad think, look. It's at least it's even and square. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, that's the main right. thing. Down under here. Um, if we if we force it too much, it's yeah, it might not seal as well as we want, which is a really tight bug seal. Yeah. I think this is what we get. I, I think this is pretty good actually. Yeah. The main thing is it looks looks even. So happy about that. Thanks. Yeah, that looks great. Buddy. Okay. So this window here, when we're sitting on the bench, we just lean right into that screen. And I was one of the reasons I wanted to get these is because we'll be leaning against this metal instead. And of course, Ziggy uh, won't be scratching against this screen. And so this one, just to test fit it. Yeah, obviously it fits. So now I have to remove the existing screen and repeat the process that I just did on the other one. I hate to disturb you, buddy. But you're gonna have to go somewhere else. So these just pop out, no tools. They just pop right out. Maybe we'll save them. I'm sure we'll save them. Uh, looks like the same deal. The two screw holes down there. I know maybe we don't have quite the same alignment. Yeah, so I won't have to remove that one, which means hopefully we won't have that weird problem with uh, these two pieces staying flush. So I'm going to start by removing these screws. Yeah, and this one is a short screw again. I I don't see any purpose to that. All right. Let's get our next set of screws. Get our tape ready, because that was such a good idea. Just a little irregularity on the uh, 
you'll see them on the bottom, but I don't think that's that's not a problem. I don't think anybody will ever notice. I think I'll put my tape up on this before I actually mount it. That seems pretty good. Alright, so let's stop the right one. Same sort of problem as last time where I think I should put a small pilot hole in, in here just to make sure it goes goes well. It fell just a tiny bit while I'm doing this. So I think I'm going to tape it a little bit more. This won't last long. Hopefully it'll last long enough. Probably not the strongest bite because there was the existing screw hole nearby, um, but I think it's going to be fine. So the next one is going to be these guys, which I think I'm going to have to rely on the tape again to make sure that this holds out because Jody's not here anymore. This should work. I'm just going to leave that first hole. And then I should be able to, once that one's set, I'll be able to do the rest. Hmm. I see this screw is actually hitting, so I'm going to have to do this again. I think I can pop that screw out. I need to do it anyway for the... Um, to the rear cover. So. Just to make life easier, I'm going to pre drill this one too. Okay. I should probably grab my other drill. Alright, I'm going to pull this other screen out real quick. And put these away and start cleaning up so that I can get to all that in there. All right, so took the drawer out. Gonna, actually, I better move this one a little bit safer. I'm going to remove all the screws to this side. Again, tiny little screw on that one by the handle. There is that spring right there, so I'm going to make sure that the, um, the screw I put in is on the right side of the spring. All right, so these last two are going to be the hard ones because I have to reach through the drawer. So here's our last, last unit here. Pretty good. Oh, there's just a little bit of a little bit of a paint finish issue there, but a little bit of a yeah, it's fine. So gonna repeat the same process and um, basically tape this in place so that I can pre-drill the, um, the first hole and I'll be pre-drilling a few of the others but let's start with the tape. So now that this other screw is out, <clears throat> this uh, easily lined up. So I think I can actually finish this front one and then this back one has enough play that I'll be able to make it do what I need. So I'm just going to finish this up. Actually, that needs to go up just a tiny bit. Yep. Yep, give me the 
Play, I need it. I'm gonna pre-drill it just so that I can nudge it up a tiny bit. At some point, you get tired of swapping bits, and it's time for two drills. I like to use this one for actual drilling, and I like this one for just putting in screws. About as good as I could hope for on that. It's uh, very good. Very, um, it's pretty much flush. I'd say well within tolerances. <laughs> I do like pre-drilling, even though they're self-tapping. It just makes life a little easier for me. I'm gonna put this tape over here on the. Another screw to try to capture some of the, de the aluminum debris. Probably should have done that for all of them. Yeah, that one looks like it's lined up with the existing hole pretty well, so I'm just gonna go with that. All right, looks pretty good. Everything's screwed down. Now for the hard one. I'm going to start with this one up here uh, and then this one. Uh, actually, no, this one, this one. Probably. Yeah, I need to make sure I get that flush in there. There is no screw hole at the end here. Um, to line up with that so hopefully this one will be sufficient for keeping this in place I don't see why it wouldn't be uh, it seems like it should be fine so all right like the others the existing hole doesn't quite line up and what is super scary is that there actually isn't, this doesn't fit. And this is problematic because it's too long on this side and it overlaps on this side and it looks like, looks like this guy, despite my best effort, is about three or four millimeters to the left of where it should be. Um, hmm. that's going to be problematic. So, yeah, I don't see any other way to deal with this other than remove it and drill new holes. That is a bummer. Yeah, there's just no way this is going to fit unless I reposition that other one. So that's a bummer. Uh, that's a real bummer. Hopefully these screw holes are um, going to work. We'll find out. Hmm.
the right. So, solve this problem with the seam between. So that's good. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I think I can wrap this one up. I will get that one out of the way. That is not the right thing to do. I grabbed one of the old ones. How did that happen? Whoops. Glad I noticed. Always bits of aluminum everywhere. Okay, so, oh, one more. All right, that looks pretty good. So now just the last one, which, which of course has, which of course has the most difficult holes to get down here. So um, I'm going to do the rest first, starting with these guys. This one here should be pretty straightforward. I do need to drill that out. That is not flush. Once again. Okay, I think if I loosen this up, I'll be able to pull it up. Yep. I think that's good. So this is overhanging just a tiny bit. I'm going to drill the hole as close to the inside as I can just to make sure that I get a good bite. Alright, so now it's that one. This is the next one. Yep, no hole at all. All right. I think we are done. Every hole has its screw. And we're good. So, yeah. I do see a little bit of the uh, screen up above here. I'll, I think I'll take a um, trim tool and and just wedge that in. If I have to, I'll, uh, I'll unscrew the top there and shove it down a little bit more so that it's out of the way, but it's not a big deal. And uh, generally speaking, it's pretty cool. Not worried about, not worried about that anymore. Uh, it does kind of block the light a little bit, but it's not bad. I think it's, I think it's for the best, especially because I want to be able to lean against this without worrying about it. Uh, last couple times we took it out, I was always paranoid that I was just going to lean back a little too hard and just break the screen, and so that's not going to be a problem now. Anyway, I consider it success. Uh, now we we've, we've done it, and it's in. You've done it. I've done it. Oops. Well, you helped. It worked that tape. Oops, you done it. <laughs> I did it again. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so the issues that we don't really care for is this this uh, logo here. It's kind of a, this cutout in the CNC. It doesn't seem real necessary. And it's going to always be there and look industrial. Um, I can't say I appreciate the little stickers here. I think we'll remove those. Um, I mean, it's a cool product. But I just am not somebody who likes advertising in general, if I can avoid it. Uh, maybe and, if they would have put the stickers with this, that'd be cool. And this is unnecessary. For one thing, it's backwards. It appears to be S1, but if you were looking at it from outside, yeah. sure. But why have it there? Yeah, exactly. I would 
I would prefer to have the logos over a manufacturer's number. You see and see. Whatever. Yeah. But it's cool. I like these little Yeah, it's it's Texans. pretty cool. I didn't realize it's actually metal, so we can use magnets on there if we want. Mm -hmm. That might help with my shades I'm making. Yeah. So um yeah, generally I'm pretty happy with it. You can lean up against it. Ziggy's never going to trash it anymore. And right, Ziggy? furthermore, if, yeah. if for some reason the Noceum was damaged, we could pop these off and I can replace the screen. Yeah. Could possibly even do it from the back side, but probably not. I don't think so. So, yeah, it's cool. All right, cool. I guess we're happy. I approve. Yeah, me too. <laughs>